My first candidate is an obvious choice, Mookie Betts of the Los Angeles Dodgers. In his four seasons as a Dodger, he's done nothing but consistently be one of the top 10 players in the sport. He only added to his resume last year when he finished as the consensus second best player in the National League. For the moment, it looks as though he'll be permanently taking over the shortstop position in that Dodgers defensive lineup, which has definitely raised some question marks from the fans. In his brief time at second base last season, he was really good defensively, so I think he'll be able to learn shortstop if he's given some time there. The bat and speed are definitely there, and if the defense is there, then Mookie Betts should be an MVP favorite once again. Before I get on with the rest of the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe, as it helps out my channel a ton. Thank you. My second player is a player who actually does play shortstop, and it's Francisco Lindor of the New York Mets. Lindor is coming off his second straight season having a Fangraphs war of over 6. His bat definitely isn't on par with Betts or Acuna, but he definitely makes up for it with his elite defense at shortstop. Despite being one of the best baseball players since he came up with Cleveland in 2015, he's been constantly shunned by fans. I think that he's beaten the overrated allegations and put them behind himself for good at this point. And this year, he might just have the best year of his career in Queens and win the MVP award for the first time in his very long career. Fernando Tatis Jr. hasn't had a truly special season since 2021 with the Padres, and he should really be in conversations for MVP this year. Last year, he had some of the best batted ball stats of his career, and greatly underperformed his expected stats. Another thing that is working to boost his stock is his newfound defensive ability and right field of all places. Tatis wasn't great at shortstop in his three seasons there. But now in right field, he was unquestionably one of the top defenders in the game for the 2023 season. He wasn't the best hitter, but he's shown in the past that he has a very capable bat. Like I said earlier, he underperformed his hitting stats last year, and with a fresh start this year, I really think he can get back to peak MVP form at the plate. And now that he can play elite defense, he should be back in MVP talks this year. And of course, I have to talk about Ronald Acuna Jr. of the Atlanta Braves. He looks to defend his unanimous MVP award from last year this year. There's really no reason he can't win it again, as he proved he can be consistent over a full season now. The most impressive part of his game in 2023 was definitely his insane stolen base ability, which he had by far the most steals in the league. The bases haven't gotten any smaller, so his permanent green light on the base paths should stick around this year. Maybe he can even go for 80 steals this year. His decrease in strikeouts from 2022 to 2023 was unprecedented to say the least, which in part is what led to that wild stolen base tally because he's getting on base now more. He's one of the few players in the game to have the five tool package and being only 26 years old, I see absolutely no reason why he can't be the first repeat MVP in many years. In his rookie season, Corbin Carroll surpassed just about every expectation set for him. The Diamondbacks outfielder had a great season and became an even bigger star in the postseason, as he was a key cog of his team's improbable run to the World Series. Now we get to see what he can do for an encore after one of the more memorable rookie seasons of all time. He's another player greatly benefiting from the introduction of the larger base. He admittedly overperformed his expected stats last season at the plate. But now with some major league experience under his belt, I could really see him putting up better batted ball stats this year. He figures to be a top player in major league baseball for years to come, and that starts now. And the final player that I'll be mentioning in this video is Braves slugger Matt Olson. He was a good player with the A's, but with the Braves, he's turned into an absolute superstar. He led baseball in home runs by a considerable margin last year. He doesn't play the greatest defense at first base admittedly, but since it's first base, it doesn't really matter all that much. What's more important is the question of how sustainable his 2023 success at the plate really was. He hit the ball harder than anyone last year, and his fly ball rate has been a constant his whole career. Based just off of that, I really think that he can keep up his numbers from 2023 and possibly even earn an MVP trophy for it. So those are my candidates. Who do I think is going to actually win the award? I think it'll be a tight race, but this year, I'm going to take San Diego Padres right fielder Fernando Tatis Jr. to have the best season of his career so far and beat out the fierce competition of the National League en route to an MVP trophy. Thanks for watching.